Greetings everyone. In today's tutorial, we will quickly learn how you can resolve error establishing a database connection and as well repair and optimize your database. So we will be resolving this issue and as well repair and optimize the database. So let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. You might have been in a situation when you open your WordPress website and then it does not work. For instance, if you go to our sample site, a let's learn something.com slash taste, it is not working and showing the database error. There is a very simple fix for this issue. All you have to do is correct your database details. However, you must have access to the cPanel. Now to fix it, open your cPanel, enter the credentials. I have two-factor authentication. So now we are in the back end of our cPanel. Go to File Manager and locate your website files, which is usually under public underscore HTML. So here are all our website files. Now scroll to find wp-config.php and open it. So basically, error in database is because of error in the database name or database user or the password. Let this wp-config.php file be open. Again go back to cPanel and go to MySQL database. Please note the position of this may vary as per your cPanel, so scroll and find it as accordingly. Now you need to know which was the database created for this website. If you have a single site, you can easily find the database right away, or else you will need to find the correct database name. For us, this is the database used. You will then need to figure out the user for this database. If you are not sure which user is associated to this database, you can create a new user and then have to assign the new user to the database and give all the privileges. For us, we know the database name and the user. So this is the user to the database. I will copy this user in the notepad. I will also copy the database name. Let's change the password. Also copy to the notepad. Now it is done. Again go back to the wp-config.php file and replace the database name, username and password accordingly. And save changes. Now let me try to hard refresh the website. As you can see it is working all good. Now if you want to repair database or optimize database, simply go to this link slash wp-admin slash mint mint slash repair.php. So you will need to add this to wp-config.php file. Let me quickly add it. So paste it where it says that's all stop editing and save changes. Let's refresh the link. So you can now repair the database or repair and optimize database. I'll choose the second option. Now it has been done. As you can see it suggests removing what we added to wp-config.php file. So please do not forget to remove it after repairing the database. So it's done. Now if I refresh this, it won't work. So this is how you can fix error database connection and as well repair your database without using any plugin. Thank you very much.